How many times have you heard that happiness is the key to living a fulfilling life? Or that the pursuit of happiness might actually be the very reason for you being miserable? This is the paradox of happiness. One moment you find yourself on cloud nine, happier than ever before. And then before you know it, BAM! You get knocked right off your pedestal back down to the reality of what happiness is meant to feel like. First things first, more often than not, this can be directly attributed to where we place our happiness and how we go looking for happiness in all the wrong places. The majority of people think that maybe if I had more money, maybe if I had a better job, ah, look at those fancy shoes. They'll surely bring me happiness. Ah, you know what? No, that shiny new car will, or a bigger house. That'll be the ultimate form of happiness. Or the perfect relationship. Then, and only then, will I finally be happy. However, here's the thing. Happiness doesn't come from having stuff. It doesn't come from having social status or having it all. It comes from within. Now I know that sounds cliche and I know what you're gonna say, but really think about it for just one second. Being healthy and fit, having purpose, providing value, chasing after your aspirations, progressing each and every day towards your future, working hard on the things you find most fulfilling, being in control of your life. And when all is said and done, you can finally share the fruits of your labor with those people you love, you care about, and even those people in need, no matter how much or how little that is. Another aspect of the happiness paradox that every single human being has either chased or is currently chasing is the pursuit of external validation versus this internal fulfillment that I just mentioned. Usually people try to find happiness by seeking the approval from others. Whether it's through social media, like the likes, maybe it's through face-to-face -face compliments, maybe it's even through recognition at the job you work at. However, true happiness stems from within. Maybe it's from feeling proud about our own accomplishments, nurturing meaningful and current relationships, and even staying true to our own values. When people, and even myself, prioritize this external validation over internal fulfillment, we set ourselves up for failure and disappointment. Because what happens is we place our own happiness in the hands of other people. A much better way to go about it would be learning to create a sense of self-worth and happiness from our own actions and our own choices. Never forget that every choice we make directly impacts our lives and maybe even the lives of the people around you. So control what you can and try not to think about the things we can't control. Simples. Here's another point in this happiness paradox as I slowly lose my voice. The balance between having gratitude and having ambition. On one hand, gratitude teaches us to be appreciative of what we have and find contentment in each present moment. On the other hand, having ambition drives us to seek personal growth, achievement, and pursue progress. Striking the right balance between these two is extremely challenging but absolutely life-changing. However, if we settle too much on either side, this is where unhappiness can thrive and is thriving in the majority of people. For example, if we're too focused on gratitude, we'll become complacent and reluctant to pursue any worthwhile goals or take risks, which arguably is the catalyst to most success. On the flip side of that, if we're too driven by ambition, we risk never feeling satisfied.
because we're always going to be chasing the next big thing. So the long story short is, yes, of course, practicing gratitude is important. However, you need to equally channel your ambitions towards meaningful tasks and goals that align with your values and your passions. Remember, unhappiness thrives where there's imbalance. You'll experience deeper and more fulfilled levels of happiness when you have both. Then in turn, what that's going to do is accelerate your personal fulfillment and your personal growth. Finally, there's the whole purpose versus pleasure dilemma. A lot of people also think that their happiness is derived from indulging in life's pleasures. They link their happiness to indulging in life's fun. For example, binge watching TV, binge eating, going on shopping sprees, going on endless vacations, always buying the latest tech. You can see how this is a never ending cycle of unhappiness because you will never feel satisfied. While yes, these things will bring you temporary levels of pleasure, they won't bring you lasting levels of happiness. True and real happiness comes from living a life of purpose, doing things that matter, pursuing what we want to pursue in reason, and overall making a difference in the world, leaving behind your mark in the world, leaving behind a legacy. Now this legacy can be in the grand scheme of things or something perhaps only your family will ever remember you for. But either way, this will ultimately bring you more happiness and fulfillment than any extrinsic motivation ever will. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the paradox of happiness in a nutshell. There goes my voice, but if you enjoyed today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.